All right, well, Rogue might not be very happy with us, but apparently any situation we get put into, it's like, hey, do you want to piss this person off or this person or maybe even this third person? Who would you like to piss off today? And it's like, can I just, like, make everyone happy? Apparently not. Apparently you just can't. I just want the cards. Can I get the cards? Can you help? Can I loot this? Whatever this is? No, apparently. Apparently I just can't loot. Look, I'm right. I'm right here. I'm right here. Just let me... Let me loot the stupid cards. All right, well, those get to stay there forever, then. God, dude, just looting stuff sometimes is just, like, the most finicky thing in the world. So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. All right, well, you think there's anything, like, back here? I don't know. That just looks like a long tunnel, so I don't even want to do that. What bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Alright, thanks, Johnny. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, are we just gonna drive straight even though there's like hey, not boss. enough room? Got your cargo. Oh, I guess she made it. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Should be fun. Alright, well, let's skip the ride, because forget about that. I'm not... <laughs> I wonder how many people actually take the whole ride. Maybe some people just like, you know, chilling and driving or just getting driven around, I guess. You're not even really driving. Just being driven. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. It's alright. Well, I got the old shotgun ready. I'm ready in case some shit goes down. Hey, Boz. Pan Am. How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. Hey, do I get any of that? I'm kind of I'm kind of low on money. Can I get uh, No? Okay. Let me put the weapon away, I guess. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Get a drink what? The shitty motel? The shitty Sunset Motel? All right, I guess. <laughs> Probably someone's probably got some booze in here. Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. And Nash is dead. Congrats. Wonder what you were hoping to get out of that, because I don't think it was just a matter of wounded egos. Even wounded egos wouldn't do something that gonk. Hmm? Okay. Well, thank you, Rogue, for your input. You still have a chance to piss me off. Well, I'm sure, Pan Am. How about we just get that drink? Oh, God, I'm coughing up blood again. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, we can, V. We're going to have to. Hello, Noah. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. But this place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. Ooh, some Brosifs? That package for street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. 
All right, time to get drunk. Wait for it to kick in, and then we go. Yeah, there we go. A little woozy. She's chugging it, dude. She doesn't another give a shit. Wow, she wants another one. Holy crap! She's drinking me under the table. I took like one sip. She chugged the whole damn thing and got another one. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. I'm just gonna drink it. I'm just gonna keep drinking it. Mmm. Tasty. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it's best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Ooh, maybe we just get one room? Ooh, a little bit four? Yeah, let's try to get the one room. Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Oh, yeah, here Noah we go. Two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Aw. Separate bed, you know, I don't know. Mm, we could use the one, I guess. You know, we can push them together if we really wanted to. V? Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? I'm thinking just like still, one bed, you know? Mm. Glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... Calls for a... Little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few wings. Almost had it. Well, that was a close one. Guess I'm going to have to go and talk to that one joy toy outside of that one shop. You know, before we go into the motel room, I might as well check and see what they got for guns out here. What was that noise? <laughs> I either broke my ankle in half or, like, landed on the squishy box. I don't know. Yes. What are you carrying? Firearms. Best in all the Badlands. Like, how it just says gun on her van. Well, a bunch of this is a little bit out of my price range. Uh, some of it's not very good DPS-wise, I guess. Uh, apparently, like, all of it is outside of my price range. I don't have any money, so I don't think I'll really be getting anything here. So, I mean, you know, whatever. At least I checked. Well, let's go hit the hay. I'm sure we got a long day ahead of us. We slide right into this room. Here we go. Oh, she's already asleep. Well, let me shut the door behind me if I can even do that. Apparently, I can't do that, so I guess the door just stays open. Whatever. You know, nice breeze. So that'll be fine. Take some money. What else we got? We got anything else around here? Sounds like someone's crying somewhere, so that's kind of concerning, but I don't think it's coming from my room, so oh, I guess it's just an automatic door. You just close it on its own. All right, well, let's sleep. Mm Some time later, some unknown amount of time later. My name is Dakota Smith. <coughs> if you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid. All right, will do. Well, I think I leveled up, so bam, we'll hop into this. I wonder if I should, like, level up reflexes at all. Like, maybe work on this handgun. I'm just so conflicted about what to level up, because I feel like I'm just going to be, like, shifting what I want to do. But I did talk about how I wanted the shotgun. And I do have that shotgun now, so... Increases crit chance. Do I get any extra damage? Increases crit damage. Seems like a lot of crit stuff. Reduces recoil. Reloading would be good. Is there any, like, extra fast reloading stuff? Reduces reload time? Yeah, here's... here's Here, I'll do this. That's at least nice and... Nice and good. 
And I don't know, maybe I want to level up like reflexes a little bit. I leveled up a lot of technical ability and haven't really done a whole lot about it. Crafting rare items would probably be good, even though I haven't really done a lot of crafting. Grenades deal more damage. Yeah, a lot of this stuff just is like, meh. Tech weapons, immunity to my own grenades, which is great. This could be good. I've talked about this a lot. I don't even, do I even have a, no, I don't even have the perk points. I don't know if I should just keep leveling up body, or if I should, like, move it into something else. Cool and intelligence, probably not really. I think, I think I'm mostly just going with these, like, top three here. Reflexes might not be too bad. Submachine, no, nah, I'd probably want handguns since I'm mostly just doing that. Blades, blades could be good. Fuck it, I'll just level up body again. I'm just gonna be extra strong. You can drop by if you ever want to talk, or if you don't want to talk, we can just sit together in silence. Either way, I'm here for you, brother. All right, cool. We'll just sit together in silence, and we'll stare at each other. That's fine. Another car for sale that I don't care about because I don't have any money again. Even then, I'm pretty happy with the with Jackie's bike. I don't, if, maybe if I had, like, a ton of extra money, I would consider buying some cars, but... Right now, I don't know, I kind of want to save my money just in case, like, some good weapons pop up that I want to buy. Like, I don't really care about cars too much. Maybe, maybe when I'm, like, well off and rich or something, I'll worry about getting some, some vehicles. But I already have a couple, so... It was kind of funny in the beginning of the game, once our once our car got taken away from us, I was kind of biffed about that. Because I'm like, dude, they want me to like spend like 15 grand on a car. This isn't Claire, right? Who, no, this is definitely not Claire. Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Raffins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A sat wave power station. Power station? Wait, you want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV systems. So the drive, nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. All right. You don't got to tell me twice. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're, I guess we're just skipping ahead. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. The subject change. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait, scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we will have to do the subject change unless I can just skip, but you know, well, hey, we'll subject change. Why not? And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. 
The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. She's not gonna ask me any, like, counter questions? I guess she doesn't care. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. I want to know more about her, but she doesn't really seem to give a shit about, like, we learning more about us. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the Good. Next target. Single shot. Wait, where, where's this next... Where's this next target? Oh, over here? Wow. <laughs> I was like... Okay. Completely off to the Just side. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Nah, it's way better than like sitting out of the truck trying to shoot stuff from the window. Uh huh. Just wondering how to work with moving targets. The gun is calibrated. You'll have system support. Just be careful with the recoil. It sometimes knocks things out of balance. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All right, well, you can keep talking about your impressive cock in the backseat, Johnny, I guess. <laughs> no one's going to stop you, I suppose, so... God, let us out of here. Holy shit, there's a bunch of people over there. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no oh yeah, it looks real deserted. The Look at that. The thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. All right, perfect. We'll just sit here and wait. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the triple A. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. 
Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. Your method. Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Elda Caldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost had me believe in just that. <laughs>